Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know that it has been a minute and I apologize, but life. Um, as you can see from the title of this video, today's video is a little bit different. I am doing Vlogmas, which I have never done a vlog before, but we're going to try it out. Um, one of my friends told me about this YouTube Vlogmas thing and I was kind of like, well, I don't really have anything exciting in my life. I work all day, go to the gym and come home and binge on Disney Plus, but you know, I can try. Um, so then I thought about it a little bit more and I am doing three different beauty treatments this December that I thought maybe you guys would want to check out and see what they're all about. I can give you my feedback. I can kind of take you with me during the experience, pain levels, all those kind of things. So that is what I'm going to be doing. So I have the three different treatments that I'm doing. Um, ironically, kind of spread out. I have one this weekend, next weekend, and then the weekend of the 21st. So I figured this was perfect. I could film it, and that way you guys can see everything, and I can kind of take you along for the different things. That way, if it's something that, you know, you guys were interested in getting done, or you were nervous about, or just had questions about, or just wanted to see what I do <laughs> with my free time when I want to pamper myself, um, I figured this was a good opportunity for that. So I'm excited. The first one that I am doing is I'm going to be doing permanent lip liner. I'm really excited. I can't wait. I'm actually headed now to do a makeup for a wedding. Um, and then I will be shooting right to my appointment after that. So come along. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I am in the car now and I am on my way to my appointment. Um, I have to go up to Palm City, which is about like an hour from me. What do you want to do? Shut up, car. So kind of the backstory on why I'm doing this or why I decided to do permanent lip liner is I've been getting my lips done for about three years now with filler and I have an amazing uh, doctor but she was telling me the last time I went to her, she was like, look, like I can only do so much when the anatomy of, or the symmetry of your two sides of your mouth are completely different. Um, I have one that kind of goes on a slant and one that's a little bit more rounded. Plus there, there's no like true definition. When I don't have any lipstick on, I don't have like a true lip line. Like it kind of just blends in with like the rest of my skin. So she's the one that suggested, you know, if you really want them to be perfectly symmetrical, which my crazy OCD self does, she's like, I would look into doing a uh, permanent lip liner. So I have a friend, her name is Brie, and she has a studio up in Palm City, which is where I'm headed. And she does permanent makeup, facials, all that kind of stuff. And a couple months back, she posted a video where she did her own, um, permanent lip liner and it looked fantastic like absolutely phenomenal it was like the perfect color and just absolutely perfect to the point where she's like I'm just wearing aquaphor and you're like wow my lips don't look like that when I wear aquaphor so I'm super excited um but I thought this would be a great way in case anybody is interested in doing this and you have questions you can kind of see how the procedure's done what the healing is like downtime if there is any you know pain levels um I have a pretty high pain tolerance, I will say, so I am not too nervous about it. Um, of course, I'm nervous. Anything that has the word permanent in it always makes me, you know, a little nervous. I think she said it's like three to five years that it lasts, but once I get to the appointment, I'll have her give like a little bit more details on that. Um, but yeah, so I will update you guys once I get there more, and then I'll probably do like an update again tonight, and then in a couple days, and then like in a week once everything has healed and kind of simmered down. Okay, so I'm here, and the first thing that Bri this is Bree. Say hi, hi Bree. Okay, so the first thing she did is she outlined, right? Yes. So, so we removed her makeup and saw her natural lips, and then we went through with a pencil and just outlined her color and made sure that it was symmetrical that she was happy with the outline mm -hmm. before we make any further moves yes so, so now i'm gonna get numbed and then we will go from there all right numbing up hopefully it won't hurt too bad i'm excited
all right guys i am back in the car this is what i'm working with and this is it this is the exact color i wanted <laughs> i'm totally kidding so the way that this works is it's basically like the pigment is inputted and it's going to be way 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 darker than what it is going to be she said it lightens by like 80 to 90 percent um throughout the day or throughout the days as the days go on um you can also see we did some shading so i'll kind of have like an ombre effect so i do have to walk around with my lips like this for like probably she said it's today saturday she said by like wednesday i should be okay um as far as the experience it's definitely different um I, when she started out and she was using like the machine, the shader, I would say pain level wise, like a two, it was not bad at all. And she does like inter in between, um, uh, with numbing, does a little bit numbs, a little bit numbs. Um, obviously as she goes, it gets a little bit more painful because you're cutting the lip. It's getting a little bit more sensitive. You're working over open wounds. Um, and then she did a little bit of microblading almost over it because just to help with some of the shaping and stuff like that. So we did do that and um, she it would get a little tender and so she'd stop and she'd renumb me and then we'd continue on. Um, but yeah, I would say overall the whole experience, I mean, maybe like a four out of four out of 10 as far as like pain goes. And like, it, it kind of like comes and goes like some parts when I was really numb, it was nothing, like not even a one um, as far as pain level goes. But yeah, so overall, really good experience. I'll show you guys tonight and then I'll update you again maybe on Monday or Monday or Tuesday. And then again, like in a solid week once I've done the entire week and everything should be pretty healed by that point. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, so it is a couple hours now post-procedure. I look like a grease ball. Um, but yeah, so they feel so much better. Um, some of the, like, you know, the pain of it initially has gone down. Um, I'm applying Aquaphor and like this little numb stick, which I only used it once actually, because they really are not bad at all. Um, so yeah, she said should start like doing like the scabbing kind of thing tomorrow. Um, I have church tomorrow morning, so we're going <laughs> to see how I'm going to uh cover this up but yeah I'm um, this is what I'm working with so far and not too bad hello everyone it is midday on Sunday so technically I'm almost just about 24 hours per procedure um as you can see I've got some little like crustiness I'm really trying to keep my aquaphor on and really hydrate the lips um that's super important i did have like some ooziness last night you know like i said it's it's cuts it's scabs so it's that's going to happen um yes yeah, so i had some of that and just a little bit of crusting but no peeling yet so i'm just working hard on keeping it moisturized and yeah about 24 hours in this is what you're working with hi everyone i am touching base please excuse the look here um i just took a shower it is about 1 a.m now monday night into tuesday morning but i wanted to film really quick because after i ate dinner and showered this is kind of what is the situation with my lips so as you can see i have the aquaphor on still i've been really really good about that um but i am a lot of the scabbing is coming off and you can see the slight um pigmentation of the line underneath that we did so I think it's healing pretty well there's absolutely no pain there's no itching no nothing I'm just trying to be really careful what's left on here because I don't want to accidentally rub it or hit it and um you know have any of the scabbing come off before it's actually ready so yeah I wanted to film this really quick I was going to wait till tomorrow but it you know, I'm afraid by the time I wake up, it's all going to be off. So yeah, this is, I guess, technically Saturday to Sunday was 24 hours, Sunday to Monday. So I'm a little like 48 hours, a little over 48 hours in, and this is what I'm working with. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It is now officially one week after my lip tattooing 
procedure. Um, I have to say, I am so, so happy with the results. Obviously, completely different than the initial start of the procedure. So the key with this thing is trusting the process and patience. Um, I would say it was probably Tuesday, midday Tuesday, that the last of the um, scabbing came off. And then since then, pigment has just been coming back, coming back to this really nice, natural, pinky nude kind of look. And I can say, I only have Aquaphor on. So I am so happy with it. Um, I believe now over the next couple of weeks, the color will slowly start to come back. And then at six weeks after the procedure, I have to go back for like a final touch up. So if there's, you know, any spots or anything like that, she'll kind of go ahead and touch it up. But, you know, to be honest, if this was the final result, I would be really, really happy um, with just this. I cannot say enough positive things or give enough positive feedback about Brie and her studio. The entire experience was so amazing. She was so informative. She was listened to me about how I like my lips, you know, because everybody likes their lips a different shape and what she sees maybe is not what I see. So she really listened to me and her her work is beautiful. She's she's truly, truly an artist. Um, she even like checked up on me. I think it was the next day, you know, just being like, oh, how are your lips? Are you good? You know, so I I just can't speak highly enough of her and, and her studio and her work. I'm so, so happy that I decided to go to her. Um, so anybody in the South Florida, or even Central Florida, because um, she's in Palm City area, if you're looking to get your lips tattooed or permanent lip liner, I will list her information. Really, people? I will list her information in the link below so you guys can check her out because she is phenomenal. So yeah, that is it. Um, maybe in another six weeks, I will do a kind of touch-up video once I go for the touch-ups because I believe another one of the procedures that I'm doing requires touch-ups as well. So maybe in like another six weeks, I will film another short little video for you guys so you guys can see after all of the touch-ups. But yeah, this is it. This was my experience. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and let me know if this is this type of video is something that you would like to see me do more often. Um, I'm always up for trying new beauty tips and fads and things. So if this vlog style video was something that you liked, let me know in the comment section below. And be sure to tune in in a couple days because my next video, Vlogmas part two of the beauty series, will be up. So see what I'm doing. All right, talk to you guys soon.